Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you. It seems as if uh, NXT is starting to clean house uh, this morning, basically um, releasing a whole bunch of names from NXT, uh, most notably uh, Bold Dempsey, uh, followed by uh, uh, Peter Howard, Sly LaFort, Marcus Louis. Um, you know, some of these names are guys that you might know, uh, seeing how Bold Dempsey was featured on a few of the few NXT takeovers. He was one of the guys that they built up as being undefeated. Uh, then he lost lost his streak uh, to Baron Corbin. Uh, and from there, it looked like it was almost all downhill from there because about the time that uh, Bull Dempsey had the big match with Baron Corbin, uh, they actually brought in Kevin Owens, who basically has the same look as Bull Dempsey. Um, and you didn't think that they would keep two wrestlers with basically the same size. But from there, basically, they started an angle with Bull Dempsey uh, where uh, William Regal uh, started to to make this guy lose weight and get it into shape. Or they actually released a t-shirt uh, for Bull Dempsey uh, to get Bull fit. And, um, uh, you know, it's sort of a surprise to me that they would they would put the machine behind this guy. Maybe they think they figure out that there's. Um, nowhere else that they can go, but also if you think of all of the big names that WWE has been bringing in, Austin Aries uh, to come into NXT, as well as, you know, you've already got Samoa Joe, and then you've got all the guys that you're training to get there. Um, maybe they just see it as Bull Dempsey has got to a point where uh, he's not going to be able to help WWE in the foreseeable future. A lot of the guys that do well in NXT, such as Tyler Breeze, Xavier Woods, um, you know, they, they they graduate from NXT, they move up to the main roster. They haven't really been able to, uh, you know, hit the ground running up there. So, um, I don't know. I, I mean, I see this as basically a way of uh, NXT saying that, you know, they're a promotion uh, that is doing really well, but at the same time, they're not really breaking a profit. With them doing more house shows, like they did in Memphis last night, they, they came to Sacramento, um, they're going to Dallas. I can see them as, as starting to make more money. They're definitely going to be touring more. Maybe they can get this promotion to actually draw a profit, which is going to make Triple H look like a genius. Um, but as of right now, it looks like they're cutting costs, and that means cutting wrestlers.